Hi, it's Judy, Sadie's mom, with a quick tutorial on how to personalize my paw print snowflake ornament. Open your file in Inkscape and select the blank ornament that I've included in the download. Duplicate it so you always keep your blank one and move it off to the side. Then go ahead and select your text tool from the menu bar on the left and type the name that you want to use. This part took me a little bit longer. You wanna play around with it until you like the way it looks and fits. Open the text dialog box. You can see there's a T up on the top bar that opens that dialog and select your font. I selected Berhilda script. It's one of the ones I like and I like the S in it. I also use master blush a lot. Um, resizing after I apply that font change. And then I'm just going to play around with the um, spacing of the letters, the rotation and the size of it, fitting it into the, the pad part of the paw. Disregard those black lines if you get them. Some scripts do that. It's one of the little bugs in Inkscape, but it's a free program. I'm actually trying to teach myself Illustrator, but I'm so used to Inkscape. I just find it so much easier. So again, I'm just playing around with the um, sizing. And then once I'm satisfied, converting the text to a path. And then I'm doing an outset, ungroup, the letters in order to outset and then just do path outset. And I did it two or three times until I felt it was thick enough to not burn too much when I cut it. And then path union welds the letters together so that you don't have any of that overlap that's going to cut separately. Almost done. Hold your control key and select both the name and the paw print, then go to path, union, and it's set. Just load it into your Glowforge interface and you're ready to cut. Thanks for watching.